people are often asking me how I talk about a lot about you know, unleashing your own personal brand, telling people who you are, what you stand for, what you don't stand for, all those great things. But then the other side of the clip is you have to tell people what your product or service is for them to know when to come to you when the time's right. And how do we do that without being sales? Because nobody wants to be sales. Just, in fact, just the word sales makes people sick. Uh, one of the tactics that I suggest to people is um, talking about all the challenges that your clients, potential clients, feel and telling them how to fix those problems, but doing it without telling them to use your service. So I don't know. Um, let's think of an example. If I was thinking about average handling time for a call center, because that's something I was working on, you know, a year ago. Um, average handling time for a call center. There's lots of different ways you can reduce that average handling time. It might be better training for the team. It might be uh, more efficient workflows. It might be um, removing some like blockers. Do they need to get permission for things? Do they actually need permission? Can they just use their own initiative? All those sorts of things can bring AHT, average handling time for a call down. But at the end of all of that, the very last thing I'd say is, but actually the very best way to do KHT reduction is to use analytics, conversation analytics, which is what we were selling. And I wouldn't even go into a great amount of detail there and then. I just said, you know what? Um, you can try one, two, and three. And I bet you that the majority of the people that you're talking to will have already tried those things. And they're nodding along going, yeah, yeah, try that. Try this. Yeah. Okay. I get it. So tell them how many things you're going to suggest. So we go into the goal. I'm going to tell you three ways you can reduce your average handling time. Tip number one, provide better training for your people so that they're more familiar with the systems, more, more familiar with the applications. They can use them quicker, get them proficient faster. Uh, tip number two is, um, you know, give them permission to do some things that their team managers currently need to authorize themselves so that they're not running backwards and forwards to team leaders all the time for permissions. <clears throat> Tip number three, and at this point, they're nodding along, going, yeah, tried that, done this, done that. Tip number three is, right. Well, actually, the most easy way of doing this is to use conversation analytics to understand what's being said, when it's being said, what they're clicking on on the screen, and to fully analyze what it is that they're doing. At which point, what you've done is you've, lead, you've led them into um, a story where they've gone, yeah, this is me, I've done this, I've done this. And actually the one thing they haven't tried is that thing on the end. And it's a thing that they probably know they need to do, but they just haven't had, you know, that nudge in the right direction. It's just about nudging people towards things. You're not saying buy my software. You're not saying buy my product or service. You're saying my product or service solves those problems. Try it. Let me know how you get on.